Hi, this is Travis Romine, and today we're going to be talking about my Tesla Solar Production May 2021. Let's go! All right, real quick, I do videos once a month on my Southern California Edison electric bill. I show uh, how much energy I produce, how much I use from the grid, and all the billing and everything like that. I do it once a month. And I also do videos on my solar production um, once a month. So if you'd like to see more of that, like and subscribe, and we'll get you that information. Okay, well, I've noticed on the Tesla website, as of, I think, today or yesterday, um, you can no longer buy panels by themselves. Um, if you buy solar panels, you have to buy their power wall, which is their backup battery for your house also. So for an example, here's an 8.16 kilowatt solar panels, and they force you to buy at least one power wall. So the price would be $28,452. And they kind of break that down um, in the order summary. So your solar panels here, the 8.16 kilowatt is $17,952. One power wall is ten thousand five hundred for a total price of twenty eight four fifty two. They do have federal tax credit and incentives here, as you can see, seven thousand two seventy and the renewable energy credit four ninety. So after incentives, you do get it for twenty thousand six ninety two, but that is a federal tax credit. And when it comes to the backup batteries, you can see here if I go into edit it. Um, one battery was what 10,500 if i edit it right here and change it to two batteries it gets interesting so two power walls now we look at the price for two power walls and it shows $17,000 so one is 10,500 two is 17,000 so basically the more power walls you buy the bigger discount you get which can be significant so i just wanted to point that out with uh, tesla pricing you know when it comes to buying solar you know to me it's pretty much all the same i'd buy whatever is the cheapest price um, that's why i went with tesla they had the best price so even though uh, tesla right here prices are changing um, i would compare them to other solar uh, installers you know obviously you want a good quality install and a company that's been around a while for a good warranty and all that kind of stuff so um, besides doing price comparing warranties and how reliable the company is is good, but uh, I would say price was the biggest thing for me. Tesla had the best price by far, so them changing their prices, I would definitely shop around and see who has the best price for the same amount of system and panels. So just wanted to bring that up and show you the differences and changes that Tesla are making right now. If you're interested in buying Tesla Solar, I have a referral link down in the description, and you can get $100 off your solar purchase. All right, I live just above San Diego, California, in the Temecula Marietta Valley. Uh, my system is 12.24 kilowatts. It is 36 panels at 340 watts per panel. Uh, my panels face east-west with my largest array facing west. After six months of having my panels, this is what they look like as far as dirty and clean. Um, when they're really clean, I can uh, say I get really good production. When they're dirty and I see dust and dirt on them, um, I don't really notice any difference. Uh, I know you can clean them with a hose, throw some water up there, wash them off, wait till it rains, but I see a lot of thick dust on there and I still get just about the same amount of production. So I'm not too worried about them being too dirty or cleaning them all the time. This is my solar edge inverter. It's 11.4 kilowatts. Um, it converts the DC energy from the panels into AC energy for the house. So at one time it can max out at 11.4 kilowatts, which you rarely get that high. But at one time I got all the way up to 11.34 kilowatts at one time. So that was really cool because usually the sun's not hitting all your panels at the same time. I had some reflection off some clouds and I got a lot of uh, production right at one time, 11.4 kilowatts. That was cool. All right, well, this is my May 2021 production. As you can see, uh, most of my uh, days were between, you know, 60 and 70 kilowatts for the most part. There were, I think, two, maybe three days. I got all the way up to 80 kilowatt hours, so that's amazing. This is the 22nd, and this was the day that I hit 80 kilowatt hours, so that was pretty amazing. <laughs> Never thought I'd hit that high, but that's pretty cool. Um, these are the uh, months from when I started this year, January, uh, what, 562, 
kilowatt hours and in February we hit 1.3 megawatt hours that's awesome and then here in March 1.71 megawatt hours and let's see April was 1.97 megawatt hours dun, 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 dun. just keeps going up June's the uh, longest month and in May yeah we got 2.26 megawatt hours May 2021 so that's pretty amazing so for the year to date it's uh, 7.86 megawatt hours and that's pretty amazing that's a lot of production way more than Tesla told me I'd be getting this is what it looks like in the Tesla app um, they're the same numbers as the solar edge app I just uh, want to show you the difference between the two um, I think when I signed up for solar edge it was about a week or two weeks behind um, the Tesla app so the numbers are a little bit different year to date but everything else is pretty much the same all right, well, that was part of my uh, May uh, solar production uh, 2021, so everything's been going really good with that. This is part of my uh, series of videos where I'm just documenting my solar panels and how you can get solar panels with net metering and never pay for electricity again. Um, I pretty much got the solar panels just to save money. And I have an electric car too, so I'll never pay for electricity again with solar panels and net metering and I'll never pay for gasoline again with an electric car. So I just jumped onto this because it was really convenient and you save a lot of money for it. So I'm gonna be doing more videos. So I'll do uh, my electric bill with Southern California Edison. Um, I think in another week or two, I'll get the bill. And then I do those once a month and I do the solar production videos once a month. So like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.